Greetings human creatures, welcome back to another video, I'm Joe Warlock, of course it is another unboxing day and today it's another box that I forgot I had that's been sat up there for like a month or so. It is of course Geek Fuel, but I don't know what number it is. Uh, there is a number, seven, six, seven, maybe it's number seven, I don't remember. Basically, many, 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 many months ago, probably a year or so ago, Geek Fuel went from a monthly box to a quarterly box, and they hiked the price. So currently, it is $57, plus your shipping and handling, and $100 of value. And I'm not sure it's hit $100 that often, but it has been more than the value of the box, usually. As I said, it's a quarterly box, and there are links down below in the description or at the top of the comments. Right, let us cut this open. Oh, it's quite a heavy box. Uh, oh god, there we go, Ooh. but a stab straight through the box, but it doesn't matter, Ugh. it's really heavy, I'm hoping that means good things, hoping it doesn't mean mugs, <sighs> right, it is open, <sighs> let us pray to the gods of unboxings, that it is a good box, please bless us, <sighs> item one, I'm gonna try and, there's something very furry in here, but I'm gonna try and get the t-shirt, because the t-shirt, usually amazing and it's marvel it's a marvel t-shirt Ooh, okay this is what is that oh, i like the t-shirt like this t-shirts are like and i generally just given up to t-shirts just because they're worth the value oh, this month's t-shirt is wolverine and that is a stunning bit of artwork like i love that there's wolverine his claws it's a bit creased so you can't ugh. See it properly. There we go. Now you can see Old Man Logan as Wolverine. Also, the film Logan. Superb. Like, that's how you do a proper Wolverine film. Not the film Wolverine, because that was garbage. One of the Wolverine films had. Was it Wolverine? Was it one I can't remember? Had Deadpool in, and they shut his mouth up so he couldn't speak, and he was firing laser beams out of his eyes. What was that crap? Anyway, it's an official Marvel t shirt, and that is very, very nice. And of course, that is definitely getting it up. I love Wolverine. Everyone loves Wolverine. He was brilliant in the animated series and the sort of. like the 90s. The 90s were when the X Men really took off. They need to reboot that and do it well. But very, very cool. Always fighting with Scott Summer Cyclops, who doesn't get enough love. So, yeah, that is a very nice t shirt. And as always, t shirts are about a tenner. Very good start to this box. Item two. I've got, to, I've got to get this thing. I don't know what it is. It is fluffy and it kind of feels nice and it's huge. Oh, is it one of those bedroll things? We've had a lot of these. <laughs> That's amazing. I don't know what that noise was. Power blanket. Cuddle power. That's superb. This is never, ever going to fit on screen, but I'll try. Yes, this is a power blanket and it looks... Oh, this feels like... Some of them feel like trash. This feels really nice. Well, that's fluffy quality. Oh, that's perfect for the winter. Oh, this is... Okay. Well, it's been nice seeing you. I'm about to vanish behind this thing. Where? How big is this? Where's the... What's going on? There's a... Hold on. I don't even... Help. Help. Can we... I can't even... It's, it's massive. Look, it's absolutely huge. I've had to stand behind my couch all the way back here just so you can see it. Look at that! That's monumentally huge! And it's like one of those crazy dance mats uh, from Just Dance. I don't even know if you can hear me from this distance. I'm, I'm gonna be fair, I'm giving that an up because that's something that's gonna be like... That's gonna be well over 10 quid, like 20 quid or something, that's amazing. But yeah, it's like the Just Dance mats, if you've ever seen them in the... Not in the discos, my god, discos would be amazing if they had dance mats. In like the arcades and that, and you have the dance machines and you jump and you hit the buttons and the, the, the forward and back. Superb, absolutely love those machines. You look insane on them, but that's the whole point. That is amazing. Really fluffy, feels like that's gonna be really warm. I'm gonna make a lot of use out of that. Oh, and of course, they put the Geek Fuel logo on, because why not? Two items down, actually really impressed so far. Okay, item three. Third item is, feels like the pin. It is. It's it's got a bit of sellotape on it. Get off get 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 there we go. Edward Scissorhands pin pals. And I like that. I like that a lot. That is Edward just Edward Scissorhands. I can't remember when Edward Scissorhands was. Was it like 89, 90, 91? One of the films that really catapulted Johnny Depp to stardom because Tim Burton cast him and Tim Burton and Johnny Depp get on really well. 
uh, it was probably when Johnny Depp was a little bit less insane, shall we say, because he is now. Uh, other ones you can get, Peg, Joyce, Kim, which is a rare one, and then there were three different Edwards. So you had Edward, Edward Scissorhands, Edward as the sort of uh, bar, like he does a bit of barber shop stuff and he's cutting hedges at one point. And there's one where he's got a baseball cap. I don't remember that scene. Oh, you need to watch this film again. Such a good film. If you've never seen it, watch it. Also, this pin gets an up because Edward his scissor hands is brilliant. And these pins are really, really well made. That's fantastic. I really, really, really like that. Adult collectible, not a toy. Oh, that's superb. I'm not always a big fan of pins, but if you can make a pin look really good, you're definitely going to get an up in my video. Also, when did Johnny Depp go completely mad? Like for a while, he was just a normal actor. He had a normal accent. Then he suddenly got this southern drawl and he was like, uh, 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 and I <laughs> don't know why he looked like he had a stroke apparently, but um, <laughs> like at one point he was just Johnny Depp. Everyone loved him. He sat there, he did interviews, he sounded normal. Then his accent got really like this southern drawl to it and it got really, it got worse and worse and worse. You can barely understand him. And then he went completely bonkers and spent like a million dollars a month on wine or something. Weird. The lifestyles of the rich and famous. Item four. Right, let's go for it. Ooh, tiny thing, tiny thing. What is it? Time recoil. Downloadable Steam game. Oh, okay. What's the value? $14. I do love a good Steam game. I'm going to have to start playing these because I have literally thousands of games on Steam now. It is ridiculous. Time recoil is a top-down shooter where you kill to slow time. That's like super hot, kind of. Dominate slow motion gunfights and gain special moves. Simple, slow time, punch through walls, guns blazing, and see the demise of your enemies in slow motion. That sounds absolutely amazing. I'm gonna do a game of that. I've got to play that because that sounds really, really good. $14 of value. What's that? 10 quid, 12 quid, something like that. Bargain. That gets an up. Right, next item. I'm loving this box so far. Like I really, really am. What is that? That's a, this is a book. Or a graphic novel. It's got to be a graphic novel because it's huge. What? Oh, that's nice. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Not that you can see, but behind me, I have a lot of like making of and like art books. Can you see them? Uh, you probably can't see them because they're all over the place. But there's like the art, the art of Harry, How Harry, 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 the art of Ray Harryhausen. I'll get there eventually. If you saw Jason the Argonauts, things like that, old films. Amazing guy. He's done a lot of films. You should know what they are. But this is Star Wars Collect Collecting a Galaxy, The Art of Sideshow. Sideshow collectibles. Superb. Super expensive, some of them. But they are amazing. And this, oh, this is like, look, this is the quality of a sideshow collectible. This is a book, like the art behind it. Vader, all the busts. I like, oh, I like this. That's well, like the details on how they created Yoda's little. Dagobah thing and Greedo and oh that's amazing showing you all the busts I like that that's superb oh look the Rancor Jabba and oh that's so good I love this kind of stuff I know it's basically just a catalog like advertising statues and things but I love that doesn't have a value on it but something like that is usually like anywhere from like 10 to 20 quid that's stunning I love Star Wars I love art books that's getting an up we haven't had a down yet what is going on? I love that. That's going behind there. Well, I'm going to read it, then it's going behind there. Superb. Absolutely loving this box. This is insane. Right, next item. Please be something rubbish just to put me off. And it is. Um, it's, I was going to say it's rubbish, and I kind of like it. What's going on? It's a Nez keyring. It's a keyring. 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 Nez keyring. I can say the word keyring, honestly. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's solid. Like, it's a solid bit of metal. And I love the NES. The NES was like a fantastic system, Nintendo Entertainment System. And then there was like a weird PC component thing that they never really did. It was very strange. But yes, it is a NES keyring, and you can see the keyring there as a controller. It's falling out of the package because it's so hard. So hard? So heavy and so hard. I don't know. It, it's a heavy item. I'm losing my mind. But that's really detailed. Really nice. I like a good keyring. I want to give it a down just because it's a keyring, and I feel like I should give something a down. But I want to give it up because it's a NES and it's a nice keyring. So we split the difference. So should we like 0.5 up, 0.5 down? Here you go. At least something's got a down so far. But I still like it. Next item. Uh, no, that's it. That is it. Uh, what have we got? Oh, there you go. It's a shot from the Millennium Falcon when they go all supersonic speed. It's not called supersonic speed. I'm just calling it that. 
Right, that was Geek Fuel Volume 7, and for me, that was amazing. So, let's see what we had in that box. In Geek Fuel Volume 7, we had Time Recall Steam Game, Edward Cezanne Pin, Nez Keering, Star Wars Sideshow, Star Wars Sideshow Collectibles Art Book, The Power Blanket. Also, $25 off your next Sideshow order. I need to buy something off Sideshow. Probably don't, actually, but for $25 off, I'm going to. Right, so that was six items, uh, six ups. Was it worth the value of the box? The value of the box is $54.99 plus the shipping. <sighs> That's difficult. I mean, I don't think the value was completely there, or maybe it was just that. I don't know. You're heading towards 60 with your ship? I think, I think the value of the box is there. So 0.5 up, and I say 0.5 because there's definitely not $100 worth of value in there, which is what they promised. So that's 0.5 down, which meant we had one down and that many ups. I can't remember. Five ups, six ups, something. It's on the screen. Just read the screen. It's on there. So that was Geek Fuel Volume 7. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if you want one. Link down there as well. If you want to support the channel, you can hit the join button, head over to Patreon, get your name in the credits, get your own mystery box, all kinds of stuff like that, including mystery videos and different things. Like, subscribe, hit all the notifications, do all the many, many things that YouTubers demand you do. But most importantly, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.